Praise be to Allah who made us among the best nation following the best prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made a supplication to Allah asking that this nation will not be destroyed altogether with a torture like what happened to some previous nations. Allah Ta'ala granted the Prophet what he asked for. So this nation of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it will not be all destroyed by a flood, for example, or by the earth splitting and swallowing the whole nation. However, some torture may take place, destroying some people of this nation, but not the whole nation altogether. So what would happen if people left out forbidding the unlawful? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ النَّاسَ إِذَا رَأَوْا الْمُنْكَرَ فَلَمْ يُنْكِرُوهُ أَوْ شَكَ أَنْ يَعُمَّهُمُ اللَّهُ بِعِقَابٍ It means, if people left out forbidding the unlawful, Allah Ta'ala may send torture and hardships at them in this life. As we are all seeing these days, many hardships are befalling on the Muslims, mainly because of them leaving out forbidding the unlawful. So I advise myself and all of you to bid the lawful and forbid the unlawful, and to call others to obey Allah using wisdom and good advice. And know that the biggest sin we need to forbid is blasphemy kufur. Whether it is a blasphemous belief, such as likening Allah to His creation by attributing body parts to Him, or attributing shape, size, place, or direction to Him, or a blasphemous action, such as throwing the book of the Qur'an in the trash, or to write the verses of the Qur'an with something that is najis filth, or a blasphemous saying such as cussing Allah or the Messenger, or cussing any of the prophets or any angel such as Angel Jibreel or Angel Azrael, or to mock the religion of Islam, or to mock any of the actions of the Honorable Prophet. Blasphemy kufr makes the person become a non-Muslim. So the person who commits blasphemy kufr has to say the two testifications of faith Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah in any language in order to return to Islam. Allah Ta'ala said in Al-Quran وَلَا إِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ لَيَقُولُنَّ إِنَّمَا كُنَّا نَقُودُ وَنَلْعَبُ قُلْ أَبِي اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ كُنْتُمْ تَسْتَهْزِئُونَ لَا تَعْتَذِرُوا قَدْ كَفَرْتُمْ بَعْدَ إِيمَانِكُمْ This verse means some people said that they were just joking when they mocked Allah, the Qur'an, and the Prophet. This is not considered an excuse for them, and Allah named such people in Al-Qur'an as blasphemers, kuffar, after they used to be Muslims. May Allah Ta'ala protect us from blasphemy and from sinning, and may Allah forgive me and you.